Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite mother of two bougie vintage and today's video is a baby update. I haven't updated you guys in a few weeks. So we're gonna start with Miss Belle because Belle is of course nine months now and a lot has changed. <laughs> Belle is walking. That is the number one thing that I want to update you guys on. She's walking full throttle, not like walk, crawl, like she's walking. She still crawls, but she walks 95% of the time. It's very, very rare that she does crawl, but she's still getting used to her legs. And so um, she actually started walking while her dad was out of town and he didn't believe me. <laughs> He told I told him I'm like she's like taking like 10 steps um, at the time and he's like no she's not and I'm like okay because you are home to see her like what? <laughs> so um, yeah she's walking and I'm so proud of her and not much has really changed um, she of course says mama and dada. She does a lot of baby babbling. I can't believe she's almost one. Like she's nine months. That means in three months, she's literally gonna be one. And it's like, where the time go? Cause I feel like I just had her. Like, I don't think I'm ever not gonna feel like I just had her. I feel like even when she's 16, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I just had you yesterday. <laughs> It's so crazy and I was just telling my mom that I can't even picture my life without Belle like I can't picture Salem as an only child it's so strange it's a weird thought like I can't I can't think where Salem would be like developmentally if she didn't have a little sister I don't know how to explain that like I just feel like I was purposed to have Belle and so I guess that's why I can't imagine my life without two but I don't think Salem was ever meant to be an only child for a long time. <laughs> I think she was definitely meant to be an older sister right away because I had Belle right after I had Salem. Other than that she definitely has a little bit of a temper she's definitely very controlling she is definitely a Taurus girl she doesn't like for you to feed her she wants to feed herself if you try to put the spoon in her mouth she wants to take it from you and I know a lot of babies are like that but I don't remember Salem being as bad as Belle is being <laughs> the other day her father and I were eating blizzards and we, we started doing this thing where we're like just opening our mouths and she would mimic us and then we could put the spoon in it and that's the only thing that really worked but when I was feeding her some curry and rice girl she was making a mess it was going everywhere I was stressed out I'm like uh uh Belle I can't do this so usually when it's time for dinner we have to just put her in the high chair and let her go ham because she does not want you to feed her she is Miss Independent and she is a little bit of a trickster <laughs> she definitely knows how to get her way and I love watching it it's, I think it's so funny because her sister will have something and she'll want it and her sister won't give it to her and her sister is speaking in full sentences so she will say no it's mine and she doesn't want to give it to Belle and so Belle will be freaking out crying because she wants it and usually it's an item that Belle had first that Salem took from her and Salem decides she doesn't want to give it back when that happens I as a mom don't like to see it like that so what I'll do is I'll find something that's similar and I'll give it to Bellamy and Bellamy will be content with it but I know that really what's gonna happen <laughs> is Salem's gonna see Bellamy with it and she'll trade her for the item that Belle either had or the item that Belle actually wanted and Belle gets really really happy. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. Um, Salem usually doesn't want something unless she sees Belle with it. So when Salem is refusing something, like say if I offer her like a pediature and she says no, she doesn't want it, but I know that she actually does want it, I'll be like, okay, come Belle. And then Salem says, no, get to me, it's mine. <laughs> She's in 
in her terrible twos. She's in her bag right now and I am just going with it. I know I said I was talking about Belle. I'm gonna just talk about both my, my babies. But when I brought Belle to the doctor and told the doctor that she was walking, she was like, oh my gosh, already? And I was like, yeah, isn't this normal? <laughs> um, because Salem walked about, I think a little bit earlier than Belle actually. I thought like nine months was like walking time, you know? Uh, but I guess not. So the doctor was like, oh yeah, she, she's walking really well. Her checkup was really well, she's doing great. And, and that's pretty much really it. She eats everything, she's still nursing, I still do nurse her. Thank God my period has not come back yet. Like, girl, <laughs> girl, I don't miss that thing. I don't wanna see that thing anytime soon. To God be the glory because I need, I need a break from that. But um, she's still nursing and she's pretty much into everything but one thing I really love about her is her independence except for during feeding time because she will go off and do her own thing she loves to make noise like music she loves she's always banging on something she loves her xylophone like she likes to make music and she likes to dance and clap and do those things and so I feel like she's gonna have or be musically inclined but it's really fun to watch her develop and change she got a big forehead <laughs> but her curls come down onto her forehead so you can't really see it until I pull her hair back her hair can actually go into one but it doesn't generally stay in one unless I use the black rubber bands so because she doesn't like to get her hair done I don't bother with it um, but every once in a while she'll let me brush it out and put a scrunchie in it she gets rat tails at the back and at first I was cutting them out because they literally are like tiny little dreads growing in the back of her head. Her hair is so funny. Other than that, she is doing really well. I think she's right on track with all her milestones and I'm just going to keep watching her develop. She's petite, but she's a little chunky at the same time. So sometimes she still wears six to nine, but other times she'll be like nine to 12. So she's pretty much on par with clothing. Some stuff she can fit in like, some onesies stretched to a point where she could still wear like even three to six. She's a very tiny girl. Um, whereas her sister is like a giant and she is only two, but she wears 4T. Sometimes she wears 2T. It really just depends on the make of the clothes. I guess that's like anything, right? Sometimes you wear size five, sometimes you wear size seven pants, right? So that is basically where that's at. And so with Salem, we have not mastered potty training, but girl, <laughs> we will get it. <laughs> we haven't mastered potty training, and that's really the next phase, I believe, for Salem. I feel like she's talking, she tells you what she wants, what she doesn't want, she speaks in full sentences, she understands things. She's really, really smart, like she's a very smart child, but I gotta watch her because she definitely is not listening the way I need her to listen. Oh my gosh, my earrings. She's definitely not listening the way that I need her to listen, which can get frustrating, of course, as a parent, but you just have to roll with the punches. Like, you can't get too worked up when you realize your child is only two, you know? Now, every child is different. I already know that the way that I choose to discipline Salem is not gonna be the way I choose to discipline Bellamy, unless Bellamy and Salem act the exact same as Bellamy gets older. With Salem, I know what Salem doesn't like and what she doesn't want, so I know how to threaten her <laughs> so that she will fall in line and do what I ask. And she's just, now grasping the concept of listening to mommy, daddy, grandma, whoever the authority is at that point in time. And so she doesn't like when you take things from her that she's using or that she wants to do. If she's not listening and you tell her, Salem, I'm going to take it from you and put it in the garbage. She knows what the garbage is. She knows that things that go in the garbage don't come out the garbage. So she'll freak out and say, no, <laughs> no, no, no. And then she'll listen. And so I'm still trying to find that balance because I don't want 
to get so frustrated with her when she's not listening, but sometimes she be trying my nerve, girl. She be trying it. And so I'm just trying to find my parenting style with her while keeping my patience because girl, I, I need patience <laughs> with Salem. Other than that, she's doing really, really phenomenal. She knows her ABCs all the way to Z, girl. She don't just stop in the middle, like all the way to Z. Uh, she counts past 10. She sings a lot <laughs> um what else does she do like you got and it's so crazy because if you ask her to do these things she won't do it you have to catch her doing it um or you have to start doing it and then she'll join in with you and so a few times i've caught her singing somewhere over the rainbow because that's usually what i sing to them during nap time to make them go to sleep and so when i catch her singing it i'm like oh my gosh like kids are literally like sponges they absorb everything which is another issue in itself because just because i don't curse anymore don't mean that her daddy don't curse girl and so sometimes if we're watching something and somebody says something on the tv that's funny but there's a curse word in it and shoot a repeat it the same way the person said it on the TV Houston we have a problem because Salem will just repeat it because she heard her dad saying it not because she heard it on the TV but because it came out of her papa's mouth we have to watch for stuff like that other than that things are really going well and because she's so smart now at only she just turned two in January so she's only two years and one month because she's so smart I'm like excited to obviously watch her continuing to develop. Um, I just hope she don't get too smart on me, chat. I ain't trying to be like, smart guy. <laughs> I don't want her to be outsmarting me now. But um, I, I love watching her and I love watching what piques her interest and like, I like that she's always into what I'm into. Like she's definitely artsy fartsy like me. She loves to draw, color, paint, whatever. And I believe that I'm going to, as a mother, leave an impression on her and she will follow in my footsteps in whatever I do. And so um, I'm excited for that as well. But if she doesn't and she wants to go her own way, I'm totally cool with that too. And I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about something else, girl. Something else, girl. <laughs> something else that you girls working on with the Lord <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah I love that she shows so much interest in what mommy does because obviously she doesn't really get to see what her dad does because he works outside of the house but she's always right up under me just as I was under my mom too when my mom was in her prime and being a seamstress and I love to be in the sewing room with her and even when we sew like Salem's always right there wanting to be involved in that stuff and so I know that she will definitely get that bug early on like as soon as she's like probably five I'm gonna show her how to use everything that I know how to use. <laughs> I'm gonna show her how to sew, girl. I'm gonna show her how to paint and draw all these things, girl. I'm gonna show her everything just so that she will want to continue to develop that skill set. Because not everybody can be a ballerina or, or into sports or whatever. Some of us just got an art bug, okay, girl? I'm not sporty, okay? I am artsy. So those are the blood, that's the, the, the blood that's running through her veins so hopefully she'll run with it potty training girl there's been a lot of pee <laughs> not so much poo but a lot of pee <laughs> um and we're trying to still get her this is what it, it drives me crazy because I'm like how can she be so smart and tell me all these things and talk to me and whatever but when she has to pee or use the bathroom she's not telling us and we keep trying to tell her so if you guys have potty training tips for me please leave them in the comment section below i need to know how to potty train this child like i really do <laughs> yeah other than that that's pretty much it i mean not much has changed really she just talking more oh she, did i say i don't know if i mentioned this the last one but she like into games on the ipad now she plays games on her ipad she's not watching 
a lot of shows, so to speak, on the iPad. She likes to play games. My only thing is I find that certain games she gets very frustrated with. I have kid games on there for her and then I have like regular games on the iPad too and so when she goes into those games, sometimes she gets frustrated or she'll need my help but then she doesn't want my help because she wants to do it on her own. And so I try to explain to her she doesn't need to get so frustrated, she just needs to ask for help. But that is a whole other video for a whole other day, girl. But other than that, she does do really well playing the games that she has and she's really good at puzzles and she's good at puzzles like actual puzzles like we have um we got these puzzles from the dollar store and she's really good at doing them and that's that and that that is the update we got one walking baby and two no we got two walking babies and one talking baby and i can't believe like where my life is at right now <laughs> it is so insane god bless you all i love you all so much and i will definitely see you in the next one what are you doing mama what are you doing Is it cold? You done? <laughs> okay, bye mama, see you later. Belle said she wants to go home, Bubs. You stuck? Are you stuck? No. Okay, come. No, not. Court. Belle. Belle. Come, Belle. Come to mommy. Come. Yeah. Come. Hi. Walk on the mat. Yeah. There you go. I'm yoga mat walk. I never wear these shoes outside, Grandma. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Big. Fat. 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 Man. <laughs> Just like no, I'm not a big fat man. I'll do googly eyes, come. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. Just <laughs> get your tongue. Nah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Big smiles. Cheese. <laughs> Say cheese.